Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is uh, Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this edition, I explore a 2021 open range 373 RBS fifth wheel, a medium size fifth wheel at that, at least in the world of fifth wheel. It's a medium size, I think. In the back, you have a shower, washer, dryer prep, and two very nice uh, sinks a full-size queen bed, and plenty of storage. And then you have a half bath and the uh, kitchen area. And up front, plenty of uh, area to hang out with the folks with the two trifold sofas and a couple pub chairs, as they call it, and a big screen TV. I love big screen TVs. <laughs> Here's the MSRP sheet. You can pause this at any time for your, uh, again, viewing pleasure. Just pause it. You can read some of the details there. Hopefully you got better eyes than I do, okay? If you have any questions about this unit, of course, you can always contact your uh, local dealership. I want to uh, explore USA RV Supercenter in Fort Worth, Texas. They are the nicest people in the world, seriously. And they uh, allow me to shoot this video. So I went inside. This unit has five slides. Count them, five slides. That's quite a few slides. I think it should get an award for the number of slides. I'm going to go inside, check it out first, and then after that, I'll be outside. Again, this is the mid-kitchen uh, uh, galley layout. It has a stainless steel uh, refrigerator, a residential refrigerator, and a very nice uh, stove top. There's the dining area. So what do you think of the dining area? The pattern there for the seats? I like it. It's a very unusual geometric pattern. And I like the dark woods. One of the big trends right now is lighter woods, and they have lighter woods over here. They also have the control center to the right, and you can control the lights, uh, check the tanks, do all kinds of stuff right there. And of course, they have plenty of alternating current AC receptacles. Very nicely done, uh, very high quality plywood box construction for the drawers, and of course, solid uh, wood fronts, and of course, Bold bearing, all metal glides. So what do you think of the finish right there? Do you like it? Uh, again, this is very popular right now, the lighter woods and the painted woods. There's a stainless steel, uh, again, uh, Whirlpool uh, refrigerator. And of course, right here, they have a solid surface countertop. You have some controls there for the uh, accent light. You can turn it on, you can turn it off right there. And of course, some receptacles. More receptacles, better. So this has a gigantic farmhouse style sink and a bamboo cover, so you know, right there. And with this faucet, you definitely can fill the pots up with uh, water and bathe your little baby right there, or your little pet. Here's some skinny little drawers, some tiny drawers. You can put some silverware, whatever you want. You can put some stuff in there. You can hide some stuff in there. You can put the chocolates right there and put a little lock on it, make sure nobody gets them. And you have plenty of storage right there. Dark cabinetry, light cabinetry. It's a combination of both styles. I really like it. And here's the Insignia stovetop and oven. A very large oven at that with a stainless steel veneer. I like it. I definitely could cook a good sized turkey in there. Or some, uh, quite a few pies. And again, it's a four burner cooktop. And of course, that's cast iron grates are a definite improvement over those uh, cheap little steel grates. Right there is the convection microwave oven. It's a good size microwave oven. Definitely in the dining area, they did not cheap out. They gave you some good, solid, uh, you know, equipment to work with. Yes, plenty of storage right there. And I do like the uh, hardware, nice little dark hardware. Let's pass by the fridge right there, and you have two receptacles and, of course, the controls right there, the little panel. As we pan to the right, there you have the, uh, you know, darker wood in combination with the darker table and a nice slide out with no carpet at all. I like that because when you drop a, a little bowl of spaghetti on the ground by accident, it wasn't my fault, it will make a gigantic mess. What do you think of the pattern of the chairs? Absolutely gorgeous. And, of course, they have the roller blinds, the day and the night shades. I really, really like them. But what do you think? 
Let's take a slow pan to the right and let you look at some of the flooring here. The uh, slide-out flooring and this flooring match, which is uh, very nice. Uh, it's very tasteful and I really like it. To the right is the uh, half bath. Of course it's a dark door, but once you enter it's lighter colors. So an interesting combination, juxtaposition of the two colors in this unit. There's the vanity and of course right on top is the fan. There's your towel ring and of course down there a very useful and very functional ceramic toilet. You got some storage right there. You got two layers of storage. You'll have to decide where you're going to put your uh, garbage pail. To the right are some receptacles and controls for the light and the fan, etc., etc. As we pan up, there's the uh, vanity or uh, <laughs> medicine cabinet, whatever you want to call it. You can put some stuff in there, can't you? There's the controls for the lights. And of course, right up there is the uh, digital, uh, you know, controls for the air conditioning and heater. That's appreciated. You have some storage right here to the left, two uh, doors open. I'll open one to the left and show you. And, uh, and you'll have one right there. So you have one for perfect for, uh, for example, put a couple jackets and the other one's perfect for other items. And they give you two octopuses, two little hangers right there. I really like the hinges, very high quality hinges. Plenty of storage in the bedroom. Again, the bedroom is dark, the kitchen is light, you get all these different combinations. I really like it. It sort of gives you a little separation between the different environments. And there's another control for the, uh, for the uh, air conditioner and the heating. This is a full-size queen bed. You get a little, uh, little end table, sort of like, <laughs> maybe a little ledge as you call them. And what do you think of the valances? I really like the valances. It's a very tasteful design. This shouldn't go out of style in 10 years. And of course, that's all your storage or dressers and your uh, mirrors. Both sides get mirrors and plenty of storage right there. One thing I didn't like a lot of times in the industry is that they get very, 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 very intensely stylish and in a couple of years it's out of style. This is a more conservative design that should uh, work for you for at least a dozen years, hopefully. I even like the uh, bed covers and you get plenty of uh, ventilation uh, from the uh, ceiling, you know, all the ducted work in this unit. A farmhouse style uh, slide to the restroom. And you got two sinks to the left. And of course, there's a, another toilet there. So you have two toilets. If you're a couple, you won't be battling for the toilet. You have two different ones in this unit. And there's the two sinks. I like the design solid uh, surface countertops. This one plops down. Two of them plop down, and two of them are actually drawers. That's a drawer. And then when you get under the other sink, it's going to be another plop down. Unit. Let me show it to you. There it is, plop down. And then you get another drawer, as I said earlier. Now we're back to the lighter colors. What do you think of the lighter colors? Do you think they should have kept it all light or all dark or just this combination? My personal opinion, this is my personal opinion, I like the combination of the two. There's the gigantic vanity. Plenty of room here for all kinds of wonderful stuff. You can put some linens up there if you want, or whatever you want. You can put it right there. Towels. You can store some odds and ends there. You can hide some stuff there. You can try to hide it at least. Porcelain uh, foot flush toilet and a, a very nice uh, one piece solid uh, fiberglass uh, shower surround. Excellent hardware also. Let's take a peek. You can sit there and just relax, just enjoy a, a cool shower or a, a warm shower or a hot shower, it's your preference. And this is an area you can use for storage, you decide, or your, uh, you know, washer and dryer combination. 
stackable units would be perfect in here. And of course you can use it again for hanging clothes. Let's go from the light room into the dark room. <laughs> the darker woods from the lighter woods. I really like it. Let's go check out the uh, the living area. I really like the fabrics. I like the layout. I love it all. I really, really like it. And this isn't a 45, 40 foot unit. This is a, a little 37 plus a couple inches uh, unit. This is definitely a lot easier to maneuver down the road. You have two tri-full sofas and these two super nice easy chairs. A very unusual type of fabric but I liked it quite a bit. It's sort of like a vinyl, uh, you know, pressed vinyl material. Of course you have uh, controls. It's all electric. You can raise and lower the uh, and recline in this chair quite readily. Plenty of uh, windows all the way around. There's no issues with uh, light in this, uh, getting some light in this unit. You got three uh, windows right there and three on the other side. Let's uh, pan around. There's the other uh, tri-fold sofa. Plenty of room for the whole family and some friends to hang out. Of course you get three windows right there. What do you think of the valances? A nice little tight shot for you. I always try to give you a few tight shots so you can look at it and say, hey, I like that fabric. I like those materials and of course do you like that white stitching it's up to you and of course the flooring. Up there is a gigantic uh, big screen TV and the head unit, two speakers and of course uh, plenty of storage on uh, either side. There's storage behind the TV and the storage right there on each side and below it. What would you put there? Some more storage down here, two uh, layers of storage. Let me close that. And to the left is that uh, heater that requires uh, alternating current and the head unit and two, two very nice speakers. Here's a tight shot. In a couple minutes we'll be outside checking out the exterior of this unit. The fantastic storage. And there's a big screen TV. And let's take a little quick pan around. This is where uh, you can add something nice. A better fan. That's a puny fan for such a large room. I would like a gigantic fan. Something monstrous. Just stick it in there. <laughs> Not monstrous. <laughs> something efficient and of a high quality rather. I'm going downstairs. I'm going to go outside. There's your uh, very important fire extinguisher. Let's go outside. Ooh, it's bright. It was about 110 degrees uh, today in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. And inside that unit was like a oven. Must have been about 125. Toasty. When I was a child working in the fields of uh, California picking uh, vegetables and fruits, uh, helping my parents out who were farm workers, uh, I would wear a sweatshirt just to uh, keep the pesticides off my skin. So I got used to heat. Heat doesn't bother me. Does it bother you? No problem. So you have two battery compartments, one on the right and one on the left. And of course you have two 20 pound propane tanks right there. And on the right side you've got another third one. You have three 20 pounds of uh, propane. And uh, there's a JT strong arm. It uh, helps uh, for stabilization. Very nice. But what do you think? Let me back up a bit to give you a view of this side, the three slide side, as compared to the other side, which is only the two slide side. Again, it was a toasty day in uh, Fort Worth, Texas, but every August seems to be toasty over here. It's a toasty little community. <laughs> and you can quote me on that. It ain't gonna be no surprise to nobody. There's that propane tank, the storage area. Let me close that and that's uh, a 20 pounder. So one of the things that you'll notice in this unit only has a few uh, areas where they have slam latches. This is a pass-through storage and there's the uh, shutoff for the battery and of course they have an inverter right there, a Xantrax inverter. Again this is one of the few slam latches 
And this is uh, the uh, utility area where you have the water and you can control things. Uh, for and also the inputs for the antenna. And uh, very nice, very nicely laid out, very clean. And of course you can place your pipes, uh, your hoses rather, not your pipes, your hoses down there. And again, this is not a slam latch, it's a regular latch system. Some storage right there which I did not have access to. You have your Jealousy awning style windows. And that's where you could connect uh, your 50 amp cord because you have two air conditioners on this 37 foot plus unit. Nice tires, beautiful rims, I have no complaints. You can always upgrade them later to Michelin's, some super fine quality uh, tires after about 10, 15, 20 miles. Some more pass through storage goes all the way to the right all the way to the back. Plenty of storage here and there and uh, this unit, if I remember correctly, you can store you can add a lot of weight to it. It's not limited like some other fifth wheel. Slam latches right here. Thank you very much. Nice uh, aluminum uh, skeleton for this unit. Little trough right there, a little area where you can uh, store some items, some unique items, and of course there's a water heater right there. Here's a back view. Let me back up since I'm here. I might as well show you the back. See what, what do you think? What do you think of the back here? At the tail end of this video I'll show you uh, the roof and uh, the various uh, space up there that you can add some solar panels. Whatever you want up there you can add a a satellite system so you can get some TV wherever you're at. So here's a side view on the uh, passenger side. And you have two slide outs and this kitchen area, this outdoor kitchen area. And I just wanted to show you the slide. It's rather robust. I went on it. Uh, I'm 175, 5'10". Uh, it, it did move a little bit, but it, uh, if you're a little bit bigger than me, I'd be a little bit uh, uh, careful. Okay. There's your little griddle on the left, some storage area. And of course you have a little sink, a little plastic sink. And right up there, plenty of areas, uh, space there for a storage. And of course you have a alternating current uh, refrigerator. One of the big trends in the RV industry and a lot of manufacturers starting to incorporate are DC refrigerators are absolutely super efficient and much better in my humble opinion than your AC and propane units. And a definite upgrade I feel, I feel, this is my personal opinion, than your what do you call residential refrigerators. But I'd show you the awning. You know, so you can put it up there, and you know, the little uh, areas right there, you have two of them, and this is the two slides. This is the Lippert uh, system for the steps. Lippert and Moorite are currently battling out. This is the Lippert solid step. On the top uh, rung of these uh, steps, it's gigantic. Yep, you have size uh, 15 feet, they'll fit on there, no problem. Again, that's where the propane is. And to the left is that, close these latches, is that pass through storage. It's a little bit dark in there, you can't see too much. And as I get in, it adjusts. There it is. Let me close it back again. So what do you think of this uh, open range uh, 373 RBS? This is a very nice unit. It's not too big. It's a good size. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much ahead of time. Again, this is a 373 RBS, and it's a 2021 model. It was built, uh, I think it was in, in uh, July of uh, 2020. You know, so it's a 2021 model. After the 4th of July, they call them 2021 models. Don't forget to leave your kind and friendly comments uh, below the description. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. So here's a view. They have several of them there. And this is a, a very nice place. I really enjoy going to Explore USA RV Supercenter in Fort Worth, Texas. They are the nicest people ever. So like I promised earlier, uh, here I am uh, going on top of the roof to take some pictures. Not on top of the roof, the top of the ladder, rather. It's 110 degrees in Fort Worth, Texas, so uh, there I am in my cowboy boots, climbing up and going to take up some, uh, take some pics for you. And here's the roof. Here's the different vents. 
uh, two air conditioners and plenty of room for some solar panels if you so desire or at least uh, you know a satellite dish do you like satellite uh, TV I do I want a satellite dish so this has been the 2021 open range 373 RBS a very nice fifth wheel indeed do you like it though this has been RV and travel adventures my name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza thanks for watching Again from Fort Worth, Texas, gracias, adios, bye-bye.